Many concur that 2022 has been difficult because it was characterized by the pandemic, international conflict, economic difficulties, and an increasingly pressing climate emergency. As is customary, there is a clear distinction between how people feel the year coming to an end has treated them and their family and how it has affected their nation as a whole. A study of more than 20,000 citizens questioned from over 35 countries shows that 56% of people say that 2022 will be a poor year for them and their family. 73% still believe that their nation has not had a good year. In spite of this, these numbers point to some progress. Both are significantly improved from 2020, when 90% said it had been a horrible year for their country and 70% said it had been a bad year for them and their family. Those numbers were 58% and 77%, respectively, and both were better than the equivalent statistics for 2021. Looking towards 2023. However, not every aspect of life exhibits this circumspect optimism. Around half of the 17 questions for which we have trend data since 2021, especially those centered on what 2023 will be like, display a noticeably more negative outlook for the coming year. While a lot of this unfavorable sentiment is tied to the economy, it also includes concerns about natural calamities brought on by climate change, the use of nuclear weapons, asteroids, and even alien encounters. Economic Climate in 2023 The general mood about the state of the world economy is significantly more negative than it was at this time last year. Compared to last year's 61% and 2020's 54%, only 46% of people on average think that the world economy would be stronger the following year. Fewer than 27% of people in Belgium expect the economy to improve, making them the most gloomy. In contrast, the most optimistic countries are China and the UAE, where 78% and 76% of people, respectively, predict better times. This pessimism is justified, and it is obvious why. A sizable majority anticipates rising unemployment 68%, interest rates 74%, and cost of living 79% predict price increases, and 75% expect higher inflation rates. What's more concerning is that over half believe it's likely that their nation would require emergency assistance from the International Monetary Fund, with South Africans and Argentinians being particularly concerned about this possibility. In comparison to 2022, when 35% of respondents believed that major financial markets worldwide were likely to crash, 50% now believe that this will happen. 15% of respondents this year believe this to be highly likely. Global Security in 2023 With active conflict zones in certain regions of the world and escalating international tensions in others, world security has been a major concern for everyone in 2022. Concern that nuclear weapons will be used somewhere in the world has escalated due to the potential development of such conflicts. Compared to this time last year, only 34% of people back then and over 48% now believe that this is more likely than just a possibility. Also acknowledged is the part that technology could play in a future disruption. More than 4 out of 10 questioned believe it's conceivable that hackers from another country will bring down the entire ID system. Although this figure has, thankfully, significantly decreased since last year, over half of respondents believe that a malicious AI software that cannot be stopped will cause considerable damage to their nation. Even worries about catastrophic stellar events have been impacted by the anxious general atmosphere. Now, 22% believe an asteroid would likely impact the planet in 2023 up from 16% last year and 15% the year before, and 18% anticipate alien visitors up from 14% last year, but as always, Indians are the ones most inclined to believe this will happen in the upcoming year. Environment in 2023 most people predict that in 2023, the effects of climate change will worsen. For instance, 65% of respondents up from 60% last year believe that there will likely be more extreme weather events in their nation in the upcoming year. 
Many nations, especially those in Europe, are pessimistic about the ability of technology to stop climate change. Less than 20% of people in Great Britain, France, Belgium, Poland, Switzerland, Hungary, and Romania believe that a breakthrough technology will soon be created that will stop climate change. Only 14% of Japanese people believe it is likely to occur, indicating that they are as gloomy on this front. Around one-third 36% are even more gloomy and believe that it is likely that some areas of their country would become uninhabitable due to a catastrophic weather event in the upcoming year. More than half 57% also believe that 2023 will likely be the hottest year on record where they reside. Moreover, 4 out of 10 people, 45%, up from 39% last year, anticipate that a natural disaster will strike a significant city in their nation. Concern over this issue varies significantly by nation, reaching highs of 78% in Indonesia, 66% in Turkey, and 65% in the United States. The likelihood of making significant headway in combating climate change is relatively low. From 45% last year to 42% this year, fewer individuals anticipate flying than they did in 2019 before the virus outbreak. This is undoubtedly motivated by a desire to resume traveling abroad given that international regulations and limits put in place to try to stop the spread of COVID have been loosened. Just over a third of citizens respectively believe it is possible that bicycles will soon outnumber cars in their nation's capital this society in 2023. Six out of 10 people believe that there won't be any more COVID-19 lockdowns in their nation the next year as things return to some semblance of normalcy. Nearly half of those surveyed in China and South Korea, 43% and 44% respectively believe this is likely to be the case. Comparatively, 82% of Indonesians are highly optimistic that 2023 won't see any further lockdowns. Only around one-third of respondents think that firms in their country will adopt a four-day work week during 2023, therefore it is unclear how much the working patterns modifications that were imposed by COVID will endure and change. At 56%, the percentage that believes that many more people would live their lives in virtual worlds is essentially constant from the previous year. Approximately one-third of individuals worldwide up from 28% last year say that it is likely that their country's citizens would grow more tolerant of one another, although there are significant regional variations. While it is still low, this number has almost doubled from last year in France, going from 9% in 2022 to 17% in 2023. With only 12% of respondents believing that people will become more tolerant of one another, Japan has now replaced France at the bottom of the chart. Technology in 2023 In 2023, some predict that space will play a significant role. In the upcoming year, about half anticipate that a rocket will be launched on its way to Mars, while 39% believe that a space tourism service that allows for moon landings will be launched. The likelihood that a successful implant will be placed in a human brain to restore lost memories is lower than average 27%. Do you also know that? The guillotine is selected as the method of death for criminals, terrorists, and state adversaries in April 2023, marking the first time this has happened in the United States. Within the walls of prisons, the machine's lethal career starts in August 2023. However, executions will start to take on a public spectacle status starting in 2024 and will be aired live on television, the internet, and at specific sites. The government should reinstate hanging, many will initially contend. However, the decision will be made to use the guillotine because of its effectiveness and fairness in the execution of numerous people each day. Nostradamus Predictions the Antichrist quickly destroys the three, according to Nostradamus, sometime in or around 2023. His conflict is expected to endure 27 years. The unbelievers are gone, held hostage, and banished. With the soil covered in red hail, blood, human remains, water, and other substances. Since the Antichrist is a man with blood desire, 
no one should be surprised that he may be hiding among any number of world leaders under their neckties and lies. A significant indicator that the Antichrist could be Putin himself comes from the references to war and doubters being dead, captive, or exiled. However, Elon Musk's Halloween costume and the Twitter reaction to it also put that nutcase in the race. In any case, it's not so horrible if the red hail enveloping the planet sounds anything like the Armenian jazz musician Tigran Hamasyan's record of the same name. The year 2023 should hopefully not be either. Nostradamus also predicted that a rise in the price of food could lead to cannibalism. He wrote, So high the price of wheat, that man is stirred, his fellow man to eat in his despair. Just to sum up, 2023 is predicted to be full of war, natural disasters, and even cannibalism, that is, if the predictions of Nostradamus who lived over than 450 years ago are to be believed. Thank you for watching, if you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up and keep an eye out for new videos, which are uploaded on every Friday.